How does the author of The Seasons and the Sun use the photograph of the girl throwing the ball to explain how the sun's gravity keeps Earth in orbit? In this lesson, you will learn how to explain an event by looking at the images and rereading the text. Let's review. Topics can be described using illustrations or photographs. But what does it mean to describe? Well, in the past, you probably looked at images and talked about what you saw. For example, the sun is yellow, the sun gives us light, and the sun is bright. But how can we describe the events in a more meaningful way? Well, one way is to look more closely at the photographs and diagrams in the article. Sometimes students think that the photographs are not important and they just gloss over them without really paying attention to the details. In this article, we're going to be looking more closely at the picture of the girl swinging the ball and thinking about how can this picture help me understand the concept of gravity in a more clear way. So let's get started on our lesson. There are four steps we're going to follow. The first is to look at the photograph and think, what is the photograph showing me? Second, we will go back to the text and reread closely. Thirdly, we're going to connect the picture with the information in the text to gain a deeper understanding. And last, we will jot down our understanding on a sticky note. So, from the article, we're looking at this particular photograph of the girl, and the first thing I'm going to do is ask myself, what is the photograph showing me? And in this photograph, I see a picture of a person spinning around while holding on to a ball that is connected to a rope. And I know that this page was a little bit about gravity, so I'm going to go back into the text and reread a little bit more closely to really understand what that picture has to do with gravity. So here in paragraph two, I remembered important information that the sun and earth pull on each other. So if I connect that with the photograph, I'm thinking about how the girl is spinning with that ball and rope in her hand, and that must be a comparison to the earth and the sun pulling on each other. It's not like a pulling like you see in tug of war, one person pulling on the other end. It's a different kind of pull. Um, as I keep reading, it says she pulls on the wire as she spins to keep the ball revolving around her. When she lets go of the wire, she stops pulling and the ball travels away from her. Hmm, so the girl and the ball are spinning around and I've done that before and I, I know that that's making a picture in my mind of when I let go of something it would fling in the air and fly away so that's what that paragraph was describing to me and it's the same thing for the earth and the Sun I think is what it's trying to say so I'm gonna keep reading and in paragraph 4 it says earth would travel away from the Sun if the Sun's gravity did not pull on it but gravity keeps Earth in orbit and continues the cycle of the seasons. Wow, so I was right that when you're spinning and holding on to something, that that's a kind of pull that they have on each other, just like the pull that the Sun and the Earth have on each other. And if the Earth and Sun didn't have each other, then that orbit, that moving, wouldn't continue and that would disrupt the change of seasons. Wow, so that's a major thing that the way that the seasons change is a major part of our lives and it affects a lot in, in the world. So that's really important information. So now I'm ready to take some notes on what I just read. And the first thing I'm going to write is that the sun and earth pull on each other like the girl swinging the ball. That was really important to me to help me understand that idea. Um, so that was the whole reason that author put that photograph there was to help us see how the earth and the sun pull on each other just like something that we've seen you know happen in our everyday lives. Also something else that was important is that without that pull earth would not rotate and the cycle of seasons would be discontinued. 
and that was um, really important to me because I know how important the change of seasons is in, in the way of life. So I definitely wanted to write that down. That was a big understanding that I got out of the photograph and rereading the text together. So now looking at my notes and thinking about the photograph and how I reread re the text, I'm ready to go back to that big question how does the author of The Seasons and the Sun use the photograph of the girl throwing the ball to explain how the sun's gravity keeps Earth in orbit? And I'm ready for my response. And I know that that photograph really helped me to understand. So in my response, I want to say the photograph and text help me to understand how the sun and Earth pull on each other and keep the change of seasons intact. So without that photograph, I don't know if I would have understood as clearly as I do now after examining it closely and then thinking about the facts that I was reading. It really helped me to pull all the information together and really make sure that I understood the important parts of this article. So there were four steps that we followed. First, we looked at the photograph and thought, what is the photograph showing me? Second, we went back to the text and reread closely. Thirdly, we connected the picture with the information in the text to gain a deeper understanding. And last, we jotted down our understanding on a sticky note. In this lesson, you have learned how to explain an event by looking at the images and rereading the text.